So I do want to point out with this rule that we just wrote that said, oops, let me not use a capital there, it's not appropriate. We had this rule log base b of m times n equals log base b of m plus log base b of n. I want to point out with this rule, just like any other rule in math, it can go either way. So we are going to have times that we go left to right, that we start off with a single log and we write it as a sum of logarithms. And there are times that we're going to go right to left, that we're going to have a sum that we're going to rewrite as a single logarithm. And so these directions here indicate that we want to write this as a single logarithm. So we're doing the right to left direction. We're saying I have two logs of the same base that I'm adding together. So I could write that as a single logarithm by multiplying their arguments together. Now 10 times 3 is 30. And that's my single logarithm that I was looking for. As I move on to this next one that has a fraction, basically the same game plan. We're going to say they're both base three logs. That's important. So instead of adding two separate logs, I can make a single log by multiplying their arguments. Then we'll actually multiply a half times 12 to get six. And we can do this with variables as well. So these are both base two logarithms. So we could multiply x and x plus two together. And we could distribute the x across, giving us x squared plus two x. Now where this is eventually gonna be going, so think next lesson, we're going to be able to solve logarithmic equations that start off with multiple logarithms. Because we can use these properties to combine them to a single log. And earlier in this lesson, we talked about how to take a single log and solve an equation by taking the base raised to the power of the opposite side equals the argument. So that's where we're going with this eventually.